Hello, my name is Sharon Lyons from Sight and Sound Technology, and today I'm going to talk you through the Zoom Text magnification software. This software enlarges everything on your PC screen, so enabling it to be much easier to see and to work with. The Zoom Text software also comes with the option of speech, which can help take the strain off reading large documents and websites in your work or study. Here we are with the Zoom Text Magnifier Reader software running. So we have a standard Windows desktop with quite a lot on it, which can be quite hard to see um, without magnification for some users. So if I enable the magnification, here we have a zoom level of two and I can adjust it with these arrows using the mouse and go up in different increments. Then I can move around the screen and everything is magnified very, very clearly. You can adjust the different zoom levels so you can have only certain zoom levels turning up like your favorite to zoom levels. I'll just come back down to two and you can also do this with a keyboard shortcut, caps lock up and down, if that's easier. We can also choose how we want the screen to be magnified. I'm gonna use another shortcut, caps lock and Z, and I can go through, at the moment it's on full screen, the whole screen is magnified, but if I press caps lock and Z, it gives me an overlay option. So I can see the whole screen and magnification down in the bottom right hand corner. And if I try again, I can have a lens. So I have like a magnifying lens with my mouse. And if I go again, I can have a line, which is good for using spreadsheets. So I could see the whole spreadsheet and move up and down. And there's a few other options there. The different sides of the screen magnified and we're back to full. So that is the main zoom options in Zoom Text. So next we're going to look at the screen enhancements in Zoom Text Magnifier Reader and we have four different things here. We have colour, pointer, cursor and focus. Colour is the colour scheme so you can change the colour scheme to something like invert brightness and now it switches the brightness so we now have white on black rather than black on white and then we can switch that back to normal. We have lots of inbuilt schemes here, um, yellow on black, blue dye, black and white, and there's custom um, settings as well, so you can change all the colours and have different saturations. We'll leave it as normal for now as I go through this demo, and we'll move on to pointer. So this is the mouse pointer. So again we have a good few schemes, I quite like the giant green one. Now my point is much easier to see. Um, but again, I can choose one of the schemes. See, there's a yellow with crosshairs as well. If that was easier to find your way around the screen, I'll go back to my giant green. And just to say there is a custom setting, so you can go into the settings and change color, size, and various other um, features to do with using your pointer. So the third one is cursor. Here this is to do with your text editing, making that vertical line between your letters much easier to see. So for example, if we were in, if I press the Windows key, it takes us down to the search box and I can type in here word and you can see the blue wedges showing me where I am with that text cursor. And finally here we have the focus. So this is just going to give um, some indication of what we're focused on when we're using the PC. So we have again a load of suggested schemes. So I have red rectangle or red box I like to call it. So the red box shows me what I'm focused on. So if I go to a icon on a desktop and I move around, the red box is gonna move around with me. 
So that is the screen enhancements. Again, it doesn't have to be red. It can be green. It can be just a horizontal line underneath, whatever you're focused on. We have lots of custom settings that you can change on the screen enhancements. And there are also keyboard shortcuts. So for example, I can change the color doing caps lock C and we switch to whatever color scheme I chose before. Now we're going to look at the voice, the reader functions in Zoom Text Magnifier Reader. And if I switch the voice on, voice enable. and I go to a document that I have in the background, I can then arrow up and down. What is touch typing? And it will read the document touch to me. Typing is typing without using the sense of sight to find the keys. Specifically, a touch typist will know their location through muscle memory. A touch keys. And we can stop that talking with the control key. But if I go Zoom back to Zoom my settings, reader, voice chat. and I'll just switch off the voice. I can just tap it, or it's actually giving me the keyboard shortcut so I could do caps lock alt and enter to switch off the voice. Now the um, options we have here we can change the rate we can also do that with a shortcut so we can make it a bit slower if we need to listen more carefully and then we have these different echo um, settings. So the keyboard echo is basically how much you want Zoom text to say when you're typing. The mouse echo is how much you want Zoom text to speak when you're moving around with your mouse. And then the verbosity gives us different levels of how much Zoom text is going to say. So for example, if I switch the voice, voice on voice enable. and um, I go to my document. Touch so the keyboard echo I have set at the moment is words. So if I start typing, it's not reading the letters, but when I press space, Hello. it will read the word that I just typed. You can have keys and you can have keys and words um, echoed as you're typing. Zoom text magnifier, zoom text magnifier reader. And on the chat. mouse have here, mouse, no echo for example, uh, we have no echo set, but if I set it to instant, mouse, mouse echo set to instant mode, zoom text magnifier reader. Now everything I point to is going to be read to me. Zoom text voice licensed to sight and sound technology deal through muscle member fingers in a horizontal Okay, voice. so that could get very noisy. Um, echo, so we can mouse, adjust that to chat, hover mouse, instead. Instant, no echo. So mouse, you'd have to hover echo, over something before it would actually read it out to you. Um, if we then, if we didn't actually need the voice all the time, we could switch voice the voice disabled. off and then we can use the reading tools instead. So we can launch different reading tools, app view, text view and speak it tool. Um, and these will read the whole of an application to you or the text reader will put it into a wrapped column and speak it tool, which I'll just show you here now, will let you select reader, something you want to tool. read. So I can basically select some text. Hello touch typing is in the sense of sight to find the keys. Specifically, a touch typist will know their location through muscle memory. So it just reads what I uh, highlighted there. And just to quickly show you also the um, text view. So if I do my shortcut. Hello touch typing is typing without using the sense of sight to find the key. And I can pause that, pause and play, play. the top and it's basically put it all in one long column. So that if that's easier to read, you can change all these colors as you would expect. And it just takes a lot of strain out of reading long documents like this. Finally, we are going to look at the Zoom Text keyboard, which is a special keyboard that um, can be purchased with Zoom Text. It's a standard keyboard that plugs into the USB-A port and um, as you can see, it's a full keyboard with a number pad. It comes in different colors. Uh, this is black on yellow. It also comes in white on black. But the difference is 
the, there are special keys for using Zoom text up at the top. So this is uh, just a normal keyboard, so I can type, um, this is the keyboard, and I can then use different keys, so I can zoom in and out, I can change colours as well using these particular keys uh, without having to go to the Zoom text interface. It also has a, a very positive feel when you're typing on it and it is nice and flat and standard size for working at a desk.